943 now, secrets of the sea is an immersive underwater adventure making its way, look at that, to the Omnimax screen at Union Terminal. Starts tomorrow and joining us to tell us all about it is the director, Jonathan Bird. Jonathan, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. How are you? I like your little shark guy behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's Finny. Yeah, Finny. Hey, Finny, what's going on? <laughs> hey, let's talk about this film uh, here. Uh, where did you shoot it? Was there a specific part of the sea? I mean, these images behind me are just stunning. Well, it was shot literally all over the world. Uh, we traveled to some of the greatest places for underwater cinematography that you can imagine. And we had a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it looks gorgeous there. So what were you looking at? Was there an, 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 a, a certain topic? I mean, are we talking coral reefs, talking about fish? What's the premise? What's the, the concept behind it? Well, you know, a lot of films focus intently on predator-prey relationships, yeah. um, probably because it sells tickets. Um, but if you do like 100 scuba dives, you will probably never see natural predation. You'll, But in, on every single dive, you'll see animals cooperating, symbiosis. And so we wanted to really focus on those true relationships of what makes the ocean tick. Yeah, and, and just them living together on a day. I mean, these images are stunning here. Um, that humpback, was that a humpback whale that I just saw a few moments ago? The film has humpbacks and in fact, blue whales in it, which is an incredible animal to film. Wow, I mean, just okay. the, the, the pots. How do animals react to that? I mean, You've been doing this a long time. Do they know there's a camera there? I mean, does it not disrupt them, but do they know that, that you're there? Or are we different just... animals react different ways. Some animals like sea lions are really inquisitive. Uh -huh. And if you go underwater and just pretend you're doing something really interesting, then they come over to see what you're doing. Um, they're very curious, but other animals are very standoffish. We filmed um, dugongs, which are sort of like Pacific manatees, um, and they're very, very shy. And it took us quite a long time to gain their trust by keeping our distance and very slowly working into their trust over many days. Yeah, and you know, so, in, in, in Omnimax, you know, films and whatnot over the years, we've seen different types of, you know, underwater sea, oceans and whatnot. Uh, watching this, it just seems like the technology has come so far uh, over the last just couple years there that, I mean, uh, the, 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 the precision of these images, it, it's breathtaking there. How has that changed how you do your job over the years? Well, that's a really good thing to point out because, you know, if you go back 10 years ago, we were using film cameras and they were really loud yeah. and they only held three minutes of film. Wow. Um, and now we're using 8K digital cameras, which we can run for like 40 minutes before we have to change the card. And they're silent. Yeah. And the noise really affects a lot of animals. Sharks particularly are completely spooked by the camera noise. So having a silent camera really helps. That is huge. Okay, well, it opens tomorrow here in Cincinnati at the Omnimax. Great talking with you. We really appreciate it. I'm going to take my kids this weekend. It looks great. Oh, they're going to love it. Yeah, thank you. 946 right Thanks. now. Uh, and the sea turtles are just brilliant. Uh, 946. Let's get over to Ethan right now. Uh, we had kind of a sea.